this is another episode of Leading Edge Dog Show Tips. And today we're going to show you how we do a top knot on a Havanese. So this could be a puppy top knot for your Havanese or for a Shih Tzu or, or a non-poodle. I was just trying to do a non-poodle top knot. So just like my poodles, I like to teach my Havanese to lay down and use a chin cushion because it just makes everything much easier. But we're not sure whether it's the limelight of the camera, but our little Tickles here has decided that even though she's fully trained to use a head cushion, today is not the day. So, you know, she's a puppy, we don't really want to stress her out. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that I do like to use rubber bands, right? So I use dog specific rubber bands for their top knot. I don't like to take ponytail holders or anything because I find the fine hair of my Havanese gets wrapped around the ponytail holder and I end up losing quite a bit of top knot. And just like with a poodle, any rubber band that is put in there, I don't pull it out. I'm going to use my short scissors and I'm going to cut them out so that I'm, again, not pulling any extra hair out. Um, we're going to give this a little brush with our anti-static pin brush. So we give it a little brush. And then, again, I don't like to use a comb with a metal parter on the end. I just think it's scratchier for the dog's head. Um, I, I'm just not a big fan of these. Like, I might use the comb part to comb this part of the hair, but I would never actually use that to part their hair. So instead, I do like to use um, these carbon combs by Utsumi. They're nice and soft for the dog's hair. And what I like to do is I'm going to use a rubber band and I am simply from the corner of the eye going to part the hair back and about one third of the way to the front corner of the ear. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm just simply parting the hair from the corner of the eye back to the corner of the ear. And then I'm going to take about half of this section and go straight across the top of the skull. And there I have my little puppy ponytail. And I'm just going to give this a little comb right here. And see how she's starting to put her head down on the pillow. She realizes she was wrong. And then I put the rubber band in and I only put the rubber band around three times, no more than three times. And then I just, I don't want our little pigtails to be too tight. So I'm just going to pull this so it's nice and loose. This isn't to tighten her eyes or to do anything. This is just to keep her top knot nice and neat out of her face. Now you could leave it like that. I like to put a second rubber band in just to give it a little bit more control up there. And there we go. Easy peasy. We just did a little puppy top knot. That would be good for maybe a Shih Tzu, a Havanese, a Yorkie, a Cotton, anything that you would want to put a little top knot in. So we have the lovely Tickles here and her little baby top knot. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out LeadingEdgeDogShowAcademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.